Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video on um, how to route Verizon Pixel devices, including Pixel 1, Pixel 2, Pixel 3, Pixel 4, Pixel XL, Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 3 XL, Pixel 4 XL, Pixel 5 XL, Pixel 6 XL, Pixel 7, Pixel 8, Pixel 9. It's always going to be the same thing. I get the same question, so let me go ahead and answer this question for once and for all. Can you make a Thunder God set? Can you make a tutorial on how you can route Pixel 2 but Verizon SIM version? Basically, Verizon model. Because I really want to route my Pixel 2, but mine is Verizon version. Alright, the first thing you should do, if you have a Verizon, um, Verizon Pixel model, you should just go cry like a little bitch <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> I'm a Verizon version. Alright, I don't know how many times I gotta tell you guys. Like, please stop asking, can you root Verizon version? You can't. You can't. You just sell your Verizon Pixel and rebuy the unlock model. All right? If you have Verizon, never ever buy. Repeat after me. I will never ever buy Verizon model on Verizon if I want to have root. Besides that, uh, Verizon models actually lose value because you can't unlock the bootloader. Later on, you will try to sell it. The unlock models go for higher price on eBay. Um, so definitely got the unlock model and for those of you probably asking oh if I get the Verizon version will my 4G LTE work on my Verizon SIM card? Yes, they're exact same phones. The only difference between Verizon model and the unlock model is that Verizon model has a lock bootloader because Verizon sucks ass. <laughs> they really do. They keep locking the bootloaders <laughs> um, so all you have to do is buy the unlock model from Google Store, Amazon. Um, it is exact same thing. There's absolutely no reason for you to buy from Verizon. Um, maybe the only reason is that maybe Verizon give you a free phone, maybe a deal or something. But even then, I would not buy from Verizon. I have Verizon service. I don't buy Verizon phones anymore for that reason because they keep locking the bootloaders on the Pixel devices. So um, um, you can buy also additional information. If you want to buy uh, Samsung phones, I mean, you will still have lock bootloader on Samsung models, but you can buy the US unlock models, which works fully on Verizon. Um, it'll actually turn your Samsung phone, the unlock model, as soon as you insert the Verizon SIM card, it will turn into a Verizon phone. When you reboot it, you'll get all the Verizon uh, bloatware, um, you know, the logo, boot up, splash screen, and all that good stuff. Anyway, I just want to answer this question. If you have a Verizon model, you cannot root it because the bootloader is on, um, locked. Now, there are a few instances where you can unlock the bootloader on Verizon models because Verizon screwed up. Um, sometimes you can just go ahead and unlock it when the phone first comes out, but they block it. So you will see all these guys on how to unlock the bootloader on Verizon, like Pixel, Pixel 2, Pixel 3. These things do not work anymore because they will patch it. All right, so. If you get lucky, then you can do it, but don't rely on that chance. Just buy the US unlock model. It's pretty much the same price. If you, uh, if you need financing, financing, um, you can find, figure out another way through, I don't know, Amazon has financing if you have a card there. If you buy through eBay, they offer financing. There's a lot of other ways you can finance, finance your Pixel device. So I just wanna clear that up. Um, how to root Verizon Pixel devices, sell it, and buy a unlock model. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but that's the simplest way. And next time, uh, you, you guys just buy a unlocked model from Google Store, Amazon. Do not buy the Verizon model. It's useless. It's like buying the same phone with a locked bootloader. Why would you do that? It has no benefits. They're the same phones. All right, I'm pretty pissed, but <laughs> I gave you guys um, the honest truth. So have a great day, and as always, stay whole on non-Verizon phones.